They should pay. British taxpayers furious £20 million bill for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's security falls entirely on UK after Canada refuses to pay it after Megxit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were facing an angry backlash today as their £20 million security bill looks set to fall squarely on British taxpayers after Canada refused to keep paying. Canadian police confirmed last night it would stop assisting with security for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they step down as working royals and become private citizens after Megxit on March 31. This means the cost of round-the-clock protection for the couple and baby Archie will fall solely to the taxpayer-funded Metropolitan Police, despite the couple leaving the UK for North America. The force, which currently protects the couple at home and abroad, today refused to comment on whether they would continue to do so after Megxit. Buckingham Palace declined to say if Harry and Meghan would contribute any of their own money for their protection. Royal expert Phil Dampier today said the couple should not receive public money for security when they become private citizens with their own income, which is said to be millions of pounds a year. It was only a matter of time before the Canadians stopped paying for their security because they're no longer working royals and now obviously the burden will fall on British taxpayers, he told Mail Online. It comes as Prince Harry met John Bon Jovi at Abbey Road Studios to record a duet for a new charity album for the Duke's Invictus Games Foundation. It is not known whether Meghan is yet in the UK, but she is due to attend the Endeavour Fund Awards with Harry next Thursday, March 5. It is the first time Canada has confirmed it has been helping to guard Harry and Meghan since they settled on Vancouver Island last November. But last night it announced this would cease from April in keeping with their change in status. Canada has a legal obligation to provide security to so-called internationally protected persons. The Sussexes arrived there on a temporary visit in November as full working royals, and the Mounties gave them protection as they always have on such visits, with Canadian taxpayers picking up the bill. But now Harry and Meghan intend to live in North America to pursue lucrative commercial careers and will quit as senior working royals on March 31. Phil Dampier continued, the public will be angry at having to pay for this when they're not spending time in the UK or contributing to the royal family. The costs will become unsustainable, they will soon have to start paying for themselves. Stephen Dowdy, MP for Cardiff South Last in a Commons debate this week he was deeply concerned at UK taxpayers having to cover the couple's security when police funding was stretched. He said, I'm fully respectful of their right to choose a different path themselves, but the royal couple, Harry and Meghan, I understand there are some quite serious concerns being raised about the spiralling costs of policing and protection for them which could be apparently spiralling into tens to hundreds of millions of pounds. I think that's a very reasonable question to be asking. The Taxpayers' Alliance said today, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex can't have it both ways, either they're working royals with the obligations which that entails, or they're private citizens seeking independence. Meanwhile, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam said the move would create fresh challenges for the couple. He told Mail Online. We knew from polls that the Canadian public did not want to pay for their security and the polls I've seen indicate that the British public does not either. They cease to be internationally protected persons on March 31 when Megxit occurs. Harry remains sixth in line to the throne. He is also an Afghanistan veteran. It is obvious that the British taxpayer will pick up the stab as he, Meghan and Archie are such high-profile members of the royal family. Security cannot in any way be linked to personal popularity. Harry has always been such a popular member of the royal family but he has recently changed a good deal. Whether they will get the same level of security after March 31 that they are getting now is another matter. The prospect of UK taxpayers footing the bill sparked anger on social media today. UK founder Alan Skitt tweeted, So Canada will no longer pay the security bill for Harry and Meghan. We should certainly pay to protect them while in the UK or while representing the Queen abroad. But if they want to be independent celebrities in North America, shouldn't they pay for their own security there? Twitter user Colin Murphy commented, Of course they should pay. Since marrying Meghan H has become an arrogant money grabber. I used to respect his hard work and genuine care for our heroes. 
Now he's disrespecting the British public to feather Meghan's nest. Go Harry, pay security. Taxpayers currently pay £600,000 for the Sussex's team of royal protection officers, who each cost around £100,000 for their salary, overtime, overseas allowance, pensions, flights and accommodation. But costs will rise greatly when the couple move overseas, with an internal memo seen by the Mirror predicting the couple would need at least 12 protection officers to cover them on their trips, which are often made apart. The Met Police calculated the total annual bill could rise to £20 million, according to their report. Graham Smith, from Republic, said Harry and Meghan should have to fund their own security after becoming private citizens. We are currently being asked to pay for their security where they're doing private engagements and earnings, which is unacceptable, he said. They're going to be in Canada and often not together so the costs are going to be astronomical. Meanwhile, journalist Penny Juner took a different stance. I think this is a very tricky issue, she said. If Harry and Meghan are living as private citizens then I entirely understand that the Canadians should not want to pay for their protection, she said. It is equally understandable that the British taxpayer might resent paying for it, given that they are no longer working royals. On the other hand, Harry did not ask to be born into the royal family. So he is not like any other celebrity, who quite rightly pays for his, her own security, so he is a target. And his service in Afghanistan makes him a particularly high-value target for terrorists. So he does need protection. And in my view, we should pay for it. There are precedents covering their own costs, with Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson paying for a team of former Met officers to protect their daughters, Eugenie and Beatrice. Princess Diana also paid for her own security costs, although many experts say her decision to abandon Scotland Yard professionals may have contributed to her death in a car chauffeured by a drunk driver. In a statement, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police said yesterday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex choosing to relocate to Canada on a part-time basis presented our government with a unique and unprecedented set of circumstances. The RCMP has been engaged with officials in the UK from the very beginning regarding security considerations. As the Duke and Duchess are currently recognized as internationally protected persons, Canada has an obligation to provide security assistance on an as-needed basis. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since November 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. Buckingham Palace said today, We do not comment on the details of security arrangements. There are well-established independent processes to determine the need for publicly funded security. The decision puts the globe-trotting couple in a potentially explosive predicament. As recently as last Friday, when they updated their personal website, the Sussexes were adamant they are legally entitled to year-round police protection. In a statement they said, It is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess's own independent profile, and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. But with Canada now refusing to help, the responsibility for protecting the Sussexes will be placed solely at the feet of the Metropolitan Police, and UK taxpayers. The only other option would be for the couple to agree to pay for their own security guards. Some have suggested they might accept the kind of arrangement favoured by Tony Blair, who pays for his own bodyguards for lucrative foreign business trips. But the Duke and Duchess appear unwilling to do this, given the strength of their recent statement. Di Davis, who led the Met's Royalty Protection Unit, said, It's the first time in 300 years of royalty protection that anyone has ever done this to a member of the royal family. There are two options now for them and us, that the Met will carry on guarding them and footing the bill, which is unacceptable to many, or they agree a system where they make a contribution to the costs personally. But their statement doesn't seem to suggest they would wish to do that. With budget straining at the moment, this is a huge problem that the Met will have to get a grip on and quickly. 
It was previously reported that Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau had given the UK a commitment that his government would contribute to the costs, although this was never confirmed. Recent polls found that only one in five Canadians believes paying for the couple's security is an appropriate use of state funds. The Canadian Taxpayers' Federation delivered an 80,000 signature petition to Mr Trudeau's office opposing footing the bill. There has been similar opposition in the UK. Buckingham Palace and the Met refused to comment last night, and it was clear Scotland Yard had been caught unawares by the Canadian statement. Scotland Yard is already carrying out a full review of security for the Duke and Duchess. A joint committee made up of the Home Secretary, the Met's Royalty Protection Command Chief, and palace officials are assessing whether their 24-hour protections should continue. Mr Davis has estimated the bill will exceed pound one million a year for their close protection team and extra uniformed police required on engagements. He said the cost of each officer will reach £100,000 for salary, overtime, overseas allowance, pensions, flights and accommodation. Harry is in the UK completing his last official engagements as a senior royal, and will be joined by Meghan next week. Today he will record a charity single for his Invictus Games Foundation with rock star John Bon Jovi at Abbey Road Studios in London.